Hey, you guys! That was my best sloth impression. But anyway, welcome to the last part of Goonies 2. We're gonna finish this game. Here we are in a warp zone. After using a candle to reveal the door, that's actually the right not ahead of us. Now we're in an attic part of this game. Or, attic part of this mansion. Just use jumping shoes and find a shortcut. There's actually one thing I want to show off first. Let's see, one of the uh, main enemies you're going to find here besides jumping skeletons are actually knights in purple armor. But I just wanted to show off this safe. That tells you that it's fun to play the Goonies too. Well, too bad, we're almost done with it. I mean, you can uh, actually challenge yourself by getting less items, like less bombs. And there's that purple knight I was talking about earlier. Fortunately, one firebomb takes care of him. Let's see, we're gonna want to go up. Take out our jumping shoes, head on over. To the right, and I'm actually gonna go to the left because there's one thing I want to show off first. Let's take care of the snake first. Let's see, where are you? See, if you stay here long enough, then uh, Ma Fratelli supposedly shows up. Or is gonna show up pretty soon. That's it, you show up pretty quickly, and now when I'm recording, you don't show up. Okay, there you are. There's Ma Fratelli. This is the closest thing you're gonna get to a boss in this game. She can, uh, throw bombs, jump, and climb ladders. And, um, those bombs actually do a ton of damage. And... If she touches you, the damage isn't that bad, but still. And like most of the other Fratellis, you can only keep them down, you can't really take them out. Except for Pipsqueak. But now that that's over with, let's go to the right. And I don't get how that didn't hurt the knight, but... Whatever, let's just take him out. Yeah, this is just really going badly. <laughs> Anyway, now that that's over with, uh, we're at another warp zone. So we're in a house section now, and we're gonna go to the left first. Use the glasses to reveal a hole, and in here you can find the ladder, and get the last firebox. So I'll just head back up. Let's see, we're gonna wanna go to the right. You know what, I'm just gonna take you out with a... Firebomb, because I don't really care, because we're almost done with the game. Okay, see, that's the door we need to take. Let's just wait for the snake. In here is nothing, just uh, go straight ahead. And from here, it's pretty much a straight shot to the end. Just make sure you have one key left over. Except that they're bats. But fortunately, with a bulletproof vest, the bats and the snakes aren't going to do that much damage. Let's see, we're going to go down here. And take this ladder, because uh, all the other places are just dead ends. Let's see, more shortcuts with the jumping shoes. And we're going to want to take this top one here, because the bottom one's just a dead end. Let's see, we're gonna want to reveal this door with a hammer. This room's pretty self-explanatory. So let's just head down there. And here's our last warp zone in the game. Anyway, remember this section from earlier? With that pit? All I need is just one more key. And we're done with the game. We have rescued Annie. And to everybody else's surprise, she's a mermaid. Also, in a Bobo's Big Adventure, you can actually choose to, whatever, to do whatever you want to her. And if you choose mate, then you actually get um, a shield with your uh, hybrid mermaid kids or something. But we have done it. We have beaten Goonies too. 
I hope you enjoyed this, uh, whatever you want to call it, either a let's play or talk through or whatever. There's still a few things I need to show off, though. So I'm gonna do that. I figured out that the signs with the guys running means that there's a hidden door. So you're gonna go in here, and you're gonna find Konami Man. But uh, that's about it for hidden doors. One of them is actually the game over screen. So I'm back here in the Arctic part with the magic of save states. I'm just gonna die real quickly. And here's a game over screen with uh, Ma Fratelli telling you to either uh, push start to continue or select to not continue. And if you do choose to continue, you actually start off with no bombs, no fire bombs, or no keys. So farming for stuff's actually going to be pretty difficult. But I'll show you the password first by pressing select. And the password system has uh, three characters for the first and third part, and four characters for the second and fourth part. It's not really that bad, but it actually can get kind of confusing with uh, quotations and apostrophes being uh, characters that you're going to use. Also, there are arrows. Let's see, I'm just writing this down real quick. But at least there are no um, small letters to worry about, so it's not really that bad. And um, on the startup screen, if you choose to continue, then it lets you um, enter the password. So let's just do that real quick. Let's see, we're going to want to go left arrow. Also, this theme is kind of catchy with a password. And apostrophe up. Nine ampersand A and then W. And they let you start off of the game with uh, all the other stuff. So yeah, now that I showed off the uh, password function, we're done with uh, Goonies 2. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next series.